Prepare yourselves as we dive into a galactic occasion of exceptional scale. Beetlejuice, the Goliath red monster star near the edge of our universe, has been sending alarming signals through the cosmos. This isn't simply another astronomical curiosity. It's a discovery captivating cosmologists, stargazers, and scientists alike. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, astronomers have uncovered deeply concerning developments surrounding Betelgeuse, outlining dramatic changes that could soon alter the night sky as we know it. The astronomy community is abuzz as renowned scientist Brian Cox has issued a warning about the implications of Betelgeuse's activity. Could we be on the brink of witnessing a supernova explosion so powerful that it forever changes our view of the stars? To understand why Betelgeuse holds such fascination, we must look deeper into its remarkable characteristics and historical significance. This red giant, over 764 times larger than our sun, resides in the constellation of Orion and is known for its distinctive reddish tint. Its immense size alone makes Betelgeuse an object of reverence and mystery, as it would engulf all planets from Mercury to Mars if placed at the center of our solar system. Named a red supergiant, Betelgeuse is in the twilight of its existence. The red supergiant phase marks a period in a star's life cycle when it expands and cools after a long era of hydrogen fusion in its core. Although around 8 to 8.5 million years old, a short lifespan for a star, it has undergone tremendous changes hinting at its impending end. Stars like Betelgeuse exist in constant tension between gravitational collapse and the outward pressure generated by nuclear fusion in their cores. After exhausting its initial hydrogen reserves, Betelgeuse progresses through stages of fusing increasingly heavier elements, leading to the red, cooler appearance we observe today. The star's distinctive reddish hue and intense brightness have fascinated humanity for centuries. Its red color comes from a relatively cool surface temperature of around 3,500 Kelvin, compared to our sun's 5,500 Kelvin. This cooler temperature allows Betelgeuse to emit light at longer wavelengths, creating the red appearance we see from Earth. Color aside, its brightness is anything but constant. Betelgeuse is known as a semi-regular variable star, displaying a rhythmic cycle in which its brightness fluctuates. Documented cycles include a primary 400-day period and a secondary 5-year period, both of which have captivated observers for decades. What makes Betelgeuse particularly intriguing is its irregular brightness pattern, deviating from the predictable changes common in variable stars. This lack of consistency in its glow suggests complex ongoing processes deep within its gaseous layers that have defied simple explanation. Observations of Betelgeuse's brightness and color changes date back to ancient times. Historical records from Chinese and Roman civilizations more than a thousand years ago described Betelgeuse as yellow, while Arabic scholars in the 9th century noted its red hue. This shift offers a tantalizing glimpse into the star's slow evolution over humanity's history. The extraordinary dimming of Betelgeuse, which began in late 2019, was the latest and most dramatic episode in its erratic dance of radiance. Over several months, Betelgeuse dimmed so significantly that it was noticeable to the naked eye, even from light-polluted areas. By February 2020, it had reached its lowest recorded brightness, prompting some astronomers to speculate that it might be on the verge of a supernova. The dimming occurred at an average rate of 0.01 magnitudes per day, a significant change for a star of Betelgeuse's size. Complicating observations of Betelgeuse's activities is the concept of a time lag. Betelgeuse is located approximately 725 light years away, meaning any light we observe today left the star seven centuries ago. Thus, when we observe changes in Betelgeuse, we are essentially looking back in time, adding a layer of mystery to any attempt at real-time monitoring of celestial events. Leading the investigation into the Great Dimming was Andrea Dupree, Associate Director at the Center for Astrophysics at Harvard and Smithsonian. Her team used the Hubble Space Telescope, HST, to observe Betelgeuse's outer atmosphere, uncovering evidence of a massive ejection of material from the star. These observations, conducted in ultraviolet light, revealed fascinating details about the mechanisms driving Betelgeuse's behavior. 
Hubble's advanced spectroscopic capabilities allowed the team to analyze magnesium-2 lines in Betelgeuse's outer layers, revealing material moving away from the star surface at astonishing speeds of around 200,000 miles per hour. This dense, hot material extended thousands of miles outward, eventually cooling to form a dust cloud that blocked our view, causing the observed dimming. What caused this massive ejection? The study suggests that Betelgeuse, like other red supergiants, experiences immense turbulence within its convection cells. These cells are regions of plasma inside the star where hot material rises toward the surface, cools, and sinks back. Intense, erratic convection may have led to an eruption of hot plasma expelled from Betelgeuse's southern hemisphere, forming a thick dust cloud. This cloud temporarily blocked light from about a quarter of Betelgeuse's surface, contributing to its dimmed appearance. The implications of this mass ejection have sparked debates about the timeline of Betelgeuse's life cycle. While red supergiants like Betelgeuse routinely lose mass, the size of this particular ejection was unprecedented. Some experts speculate that this unusual eruption could indicate that Betelgeuse is in the early stages of transitioning to a supernova, though the exact timing remains uncertain. A supernova would result in Betelgeuse's outer layers being explosively ejected, creating a spectacle visible from Earth, a cosmic phenomenon that humanity has seldom been privileged to witness firsthand.